Sometimes you just want a good slice of pizza and you want it fast. Hey everyone, Dana Leslie back for another Disney dining review. So today we are headed over to Disney Springs and doing another Disney quick service dining review at Pizza Ponte. Pizza Ponte. This is most definitely, at least the last time we ate here, one of those places that can use the new metric size of Leslie's face for the pizza <laughs> slice. Why does it got to be a metric size? <laughs> <laughs> measurement, new measurement. <laughs> We've eaten here before. As I recall, it was pretty tasty, but it's been a while. A long while. Now, they also, we only did pizza last time. They have a couple of salads. There's like a Caesar and then one that has like a balsamic dressing that's got some like um, uh, papadou peppers and like stuff like that in it as well. And then they have three different sandwiches. So Ooh. I think that's very interesting. We are also gonna take Jennings with us. We are. So we might get his take on some things. Um, I like that everything's pretty much made, or at least the pizzas are. I don't know about the salads and sandwiches, know. but the pizza is made whenever you walk in and you just like walk in, you order it and you and you grab it. Um, there was seating outside the last time we went, so we'll check that out as well. I like the fact that it's centrally located in Disney Springs. Um, I don't know, I'm ready. Let's eat some pizza. Let's go check this place out, see if it still lives up to the hype. Is there hype? Sure. Maybe there's hype. <laughs> I don't know if there's hype, <laughs> but I want some pizza. So let's do this. So we ordered four different slices. Um, the salads just looked pretty kind of normal, nothing like super special. And apparently they do not do sandwiches anymore. So we did not get the sandwich, obviously. Um, but we got four different kinds of pizza. We got the parmicata, which is like ham and mozzarella. The just traditional pepperoni. The fungi, which is mushroom. And then the ortolana, which is uh, mozzarella with mixed vegetables. So one thing that I really like is that they took our order, they took all of our pizzas and they put it on like a pizza pan and they put it back in the oven to warm it up and make it all melty and crispy and good. So this is the parmicata. That's good. It's like, I wouldn't say it's the best pizza on Disney property, but definitely good for like a quick slice. I'm gonna start with the fungi. This big slice of pizza. It's a solid piece of pizza. I think they're going for speed here more than anything, so um, it's, it's definitely a reheated piece of pizza, but it's well done. Um, I mean, it'd definitely be better if it was like fresh, fresh out of the oven, but then you'd be, of course, waiting forever for it. So um, kind of sacrifice that for the other, and then I'm also gonna try. And just as a side note, uh, the pizzas are anywhere from $7.50 to $8.75 a slice, depending on which kind you get. That's the Ortolana, it's the mixed vegetables. I like the olives in there. Some good flavors. This is bigger than Leslie face size. It's pretty good. Probably at least a little bit above average for pizza. Okay, the last time we came here was 2018, we figured out. Lots changed since COVID, and I'm not sure for the better. Um, got a lot of thoughts, but I'll save those for home. All right, yeah, I, I completely agree, and we will finish this up at home. I'm just a poor boy from a poor family. He's just a poor boy from a poor family. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are back. 
But first, <laughs> if you're looking to plan your next magical vacation, please reach out to us over at fantasticalvacations.com. Oh, oh God, can, can a, I do that again? Can you get a blooper reel just from Pizza Ponte? <laughs> please reach out to us over at Fantastical. Stop. <laughs> what are you doing? But first, if you're looking to plan your next magical vacation, please reach out to us over at Fantastical Vacations. We plan Disney destinations, universal cruise lines, and all-inclusive resorts. Yes. <laughs> All right. So um, we we went here to Pizza, Pizza Ponte in 2018 mm -hmm. in March, and I remember thinking it was quite good. Um, my experience today was not as good. They made some changes since then. Uh, they said due to COVID, um, I don't know, we're in 2024, so I feel like they could probably bring those changes back. So specifically, they still have sandwiches on their online menu. They still have a big sign up that says sandwiches, although underneath it are salads listed. Um, and they used to have coffees there, apparently. We never got coffees the first time. So now it's just pizza and then like, pre-packaged salads and then a couple of pre-packaged uh, desserts, which we didn't get. The salads honestly didn't look very good. They didn't. I was kind of excited about that because they sounded really tasty, but they eh, they just look kind of eh. Now, keep in mind, we're still trying to get into the groove of quick service dining. So mm -hmm. trying to mentally like understand, okay, well, what you're paying for is speed and value here, not necessarily quality of, uh, you know, just great, great food. We got to look through that lens. All right. So starting with ambiance. So just kind of a reminder, whenever we talk ambiance in a quick service restaurant, we're talking like seating options and kind of just the how it feels and and all of that so um it was a little loud in there but they they do have indoor seating and then they also have a couple of outdoor um tables they're not a plethora of them though every table has kind of the the um, condiments that you can put on it with like the cheese and the i'm assuming it's some kind of like italian seasoning blend uh crushed red peppers, and then I don't know what was in the little shaker. Um, I'm guessing it was like garlic powder or something because Maybe. I didn't, I didn't ever check. It feels like a cafeteria to me. I mean, there's like a line down, you take a, you know, you do kind of like a, a U-turn and you come back down the line where the food is displayed and you just order whatever you want. Um, and so that's both good and bad. So it feels a little sterile, a little kind of not inviting, but at the same time, um, it, it's fast, right? So. Well, and I felt like it was confusing. I had to ask what to do and I, it, to me, it wasn't clear that I just go in the line and order my pizza and then, cause right when you walk in is the cashiers. And so to That's me, true. my instinct would be to go to them, but they were like, did you already order? So we felt like there really wasn't anything necessarily wrong with the, the nice amount of seating and the indoor outdoor option. We went ahead and gave them a three and a half for that. Theming is kind of non-existent. I wanted yeah. to rate it a one. Jennings talked us up to a two, so thank him for that. <laughs> um, I, the reason I wanted to rate it a one is because there's there's not even a sign on the outside of the building. Like yeah. the major sign is Maria and Enzo's Ristorante. And then under that in neon, it says Pizzeria. But there's nothing like identifying that it's a entirely separate quick service restaurant in fact, the Maria and Enzo's sign is over the entrance of the of Pizza Ponte. Yeah, it's I think there even... was like one like off to the side, but it was very small. Well, there's a menu off to the side. Is that what you're talking oh, about? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking there's a, about. There's a menu and like a little shadow box yeah. uh, glass frame on the wall. The Maria and Enzo sign is huge. The Edison sign is huge. The Enzo's hideaway sign is huge, very inviting and all this stuff. And this just feels like an afterthought. Like yeah. Pizza Ponte specifically feels like an afterthought. It's like, okay, we've designed all of these other restaurants and we have this little space over here. Is it gonna be a big lobby? Nah, let's throw a quick service joint in it. <laughs> well, and then I thought it was kind of weird that, um, so they have the menu kind of hanging from the ceiling, which looks cool. It looks like it's in like um, rolled up paper that's been pulled down and the menus on that. And so they have like a pizza section and a dessert section and drink section. And then it says above sandwiches and then it's all salads. And so I asked about the sandwiches and that's when they told me that they hadn't come back since um, everything shut down for COVID. And that's been long enough that I feel like you could change your sign from sandwiches to salads yeah. um, for if, it to make sense. If you're not gonna bring them back, at least change the online menu. <laughs> like we yeah. showed up expecting to get a salad, a pizza and a sandwich. And yeah, we did, that didn't happen. All that to say, like Dan said, uh, Jennings talked us up to a two. 
All right, service. Um, service was it, was, it was, it was pretty much straight up average. Like it wasn't, yeah. there. it was it was better last week at Eat by Manit. Um, oh, they were very sure. welcoming there. They came to our table. They asked us if we needed anything. They would have brought us refills if we had. This was not that. This was, you walk up to the, the display of the pizzas and somebody walks over to you, asks you what you want, puts it on a thing, sticks it in the oven, and then you walk down, tell them if you want a salad or a drink or something, and then um, the lady at the cash register, once she recognizes that you're standing there, asks you if you've ordered and what you got, and you just tell her. <laughs> yeah, it, it took a minute. <laughs> but um, once she acknowledged you, she was yeah. nice, and she got us water, she gave us a discount. Side note, the value here is pretty fantastic. Mm. We got a 15% discount for being annual pass members and those four slices of pizza, which filled up the three of us, it was 30 bucks. And I didn't get accosted for a, a, a gratuity at the register <laughs> because they weren't doing anything to wait on us, right? Yeah. So like over at Eat by Manit, they did ask for a, a gratuity, but I think they deserve it there because they're clearing yeah. your tray. Oh, you have to clear your own trays here, right? So that's part of it too. So um, it's very much cafeteria style. Yeah, yeah. So um, just very straightforward. It is, so we gave it a three. And then food. So I remember the pizza being um, really, really good, like almost borderline via Napoli good, but not quite that good before. And it's good, but it's definitely nowhere close to via Napoli good. I think if the pizza was fresh out of the oven, it would be very close. Yes. It wasn't, and I don't think it ever is. Jennings had the pepperoni, which is probably the most popular thing there. And it was, it was recently out of the oven. They still heated it up a little bit, but it was, it was fresher. The three other slices that we got, they'd been sitting out, not under heat lamps, just on the counter behind glass and behind sneeze guards. When you tell them you want a slice, they stick it on a pizza tray, stick it in a pizza oven and warm it back up. The problem was they didn't warm it back up enough. Like it wasn't mm. hot at all. It was lukewarm, maybe. I mean, we did take pictures of it and that was it. We took yeah. it, we found a table, we took pictures of it, of each slice and then the overall tray. And then we started reviewing and eating and, and and that's not enough time for it to cool down. So basically they make these pizzas way in advance, they cool to room temperature and then they heat them up slice by slice and it tastes like a reheated day old pizza. reheated piece of pizza. Yeah. A good day old reheated piece of pizza, but a reheated piece of pizza nonetheless. Yeah. I mean, it, it has a lot of really great potential to be even better and it might depend on who served you that day, how fresh your pizza was, how long they kept it in the oven, so on and so forth. When you um, come, if you if you yeah. order like the freshest pizza that just came out of the oven, get that. Don't get the yeah. other one that's been sitting there for four hours. I don't know how long I sit out, but. But yeah, so I mean, overall, like the flavor was really good. It was fine whenever we first started eating heat wise, like it was warm. But um, by the time we were done eating, I was eating cold pizza. Because if this had come out of the oven fresh, I would have given it a four. It's, yeah. a, it's, a good, it's a good pizza, but it wasn't fresh and it wasn't hot. Yeah. So what do you like? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of torn there. So we gave it a three and a half because I think that I think that it probably our experience was a three. We visited with some people across the way and they like raved about it. They were very excited about trying Via Napoli because they, you know, they thought if this is this good, then Via Napoli must be way better. And I'm like, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but it's, so I think that it has a lot of great potential there. It just didn't hit the mark for us today. So we gave it a three and a half. Um, you've done the math. What does that add up to? So that adds up to 12 and divide it oh. out, then we get a three. So um, just kind of straight up average. But you know, one thing that we like to talk about with these quick service restaurants is kind of the thing that makes it stand out. The draw, the yeah. one thing. Yeah. yeah. And we think that we talked about it a lot on the way home. And we think the biggest draw here is that you can get a pretty decent slice of pizza super fast and super cheap. I mean, 30 bucks for four slices of pizza that filled up three people. Yeah. So that's Cheaper, pretty good. When a bottle of Coke costs $6, I feel like $30 for three full meals. Maybe not a full meal, but I'm, I'm full. I'm full. Um, and we left some on the plate. I mean, we left some crust and stuff. So, I mean. Jennings seem to be full. I, I think that's a good place. I think just make sure that you're getting a hot slice when you when you get it, but you're gonna get a good, good value. You're gonna get it fast. I mean, we were handed the so tray fast. 
almost as soon as we paid at the end of the line. Like it was, which is probably why it was so fast because it should have been in the oven just a little bit longer. So all that to say, just make sure you get a hot slice. I think you'll like it. Well, if you're liking these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And we will see you on the next video.